The second key component to hitting the ball far is having a good grip. We need your wrist to be able to create power, to be able to hinge and unhinge and really rotate the club through impact. The way we're going to do this is we have to first start off with the grip of our left hand being in the fingers. So if the grip will actually sit from the crook of my finger, right here of my left hand, to the base pad of my pinky, just like this. Easy way to do this is just hold the club at 45 degrees and set the club right there. As you bring your hand on, we're going to be faced with two things. Now, in my signature series, I talk about how to get your joints into natural alignment. That still applies, so I want you to do this. Now, if you're someone that may be a little bit older and say, hey, I don't have the flexibility in my wrist, what we're going to do is just slide that left thumb down further. This is what's called a long thumb. This will provide more flexibility in your wrists. The normal swing, what we're talking about, is keeping the thumb and forefinger more together. So this is something, again, that is great for your swing, great for control, but it all depends, again, on personally what you're capable of, what your flexibility is, and we want this swing to be tailored for you individually. So if you feel, and you can just do this at home if you don't hold a club, just see how much your wrist will hinge this way, stick your thumb out long, and see if you get more flexibility, which you will. So a long thumb versus a short thumb. Once you get that on there, what we're gonna do is we're going to hold the club here at 45 degrees. So the key is here is we want our right hand on here with our index finger pointing down the shaft. That gets my, the angle of my forearm in the proper position. As I slide this down, my lifeline of my right hand, which is that, that line right in between the two fatty parts here of your hand, I want that to sit on the side. More people have a tendency to get that on top and that's definitely not what we want to do because that's going to open the face. Now, I want to discuss this for a little bit. If you look at LPGA players, kids, even players that hit the ball a long ways like Dustin Johnson, Robert Garrigus on the PGA Tour, they have a tendency to get the face at the top a little bit in the closed position. All that is doing is de-lofting the club. So my seven iron here would actually be turned into about a six or a five. To get that position and hit the ball farther, all you got to do is take your hand and turn it slightly to the right. That is going to be, in golf, we call that a strong grip. And again, in this DVD, we're not necessarily talking about how do we swing you know, the best for control. We're talking about power. If you want to strengthen your grip a little bit and play with it and hit that draw, that's fine. I'm okay with that. So that will be okay and we're good and you can hit the ball a lot farther. So just turn your your hand to the right a little bit. That'll strengthen the grip, it'll close the club face down, and again, allow you to hit the ball as far as you want.